Hello guys and welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. Never played it. So let's play the game. Qu quite nice music. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation you will have to transport to transport back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years you can build your dream company, create best selling games, gain fans and become a leader of the market. Before you can start your adventure, you will have to give your upcoming company a name. Oh, what name should we give him? Monkey Fist! Monkey Fist. It's a reference to um, Kevin Can Wait. If you haven't seen the TV show, it's, it's an alright show. It's a funny show. Uh. <laughs> Look at that guy. Should I be young Ramsey? Oh, that's like, that's like Rhett. That looks like Rhett. And that's like Linkish. Uh, oh, I can be a girl as well. Uh, let's have um, that nice cozy sweater. Congratulations, you just started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is in a garage, and you are the only employee. But don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. Let's start development your first game. Close this message and chip anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. D develop new game. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select a graphic ch technologic your game should be. <sighs> Your options are entirely oh, limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. Um, pick topic. Uh, oh, oh, I can I can name the game. Name the game. Um. Uh. V or Crash Bandicoot? Oh, I have to do like a like um like a uh, rip off version. The virtual well, I spell virtual 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 uh reality. Ah, oh, that's all I can think of. Press reality, crash bandy, boot. <laughs> nah, I'll just, I'll just, uh, cute. There you are, crash bandy cute. Um, oh, that should be in the, in the front. Shut up. VR, there. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It about a Crash Bandicoot is a horror. Uh, romance, I guess. Jenna. Adventure, of course. So this should be. Um. I guess you can go with space because Crash Bandicoot is not not like us. So, oh, just a. Normal G64. I don't know. 
2D graphics, yes! That's what we need. Because Crash Bandicoot used to start in a 2D dimension. And it turned into a 3D dimension. Oh! Ooh! <coughs> uh, game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can design what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description there, so not a lot of story, um, a lot of gameplay. Uh, what does engine mean? There's so much that has a lot of gameplay. Yeah, that seems nice. Game development has now just started. While developing no <laughs> While developing your game, you will generate game points which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into different design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. From time to time blah 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 Monthly costs. Ooh level designs There's a lot of level designs, I know that. Why would I well there is robots there is robots in the game. So I'll just put that up a little bit. Dialogues. Yeah, there is some. There, there is, there is, there is some. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Bam, 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 bam. Ooh! During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will decrease quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases the cost. Okay, I get it. Shut up. World, world design. World design. I, uh, graphic. Um... Oh, it's a 2D and I called it a VR. <laughs> 2D VR. That doesn't really make much sense. Oh, maybe it does. Like, you're looking at the Crash Bandicoot, like, running, and you have to, like, move your, like, arms in order for him to jump or slide under shit. You only get him, you only get to see him in, like, 2D running. And then someone else makes the a 3D version basic sounds that seems nice graphic uh, yeah for a, for a VR experience sounds yeah well designed doesn't uh, I guess uh, I, I don't know It could be like a, a VR experience, like those games, the, there's like some games like VR space where you literally just learn about space and stuff, which is cool. <laughs> Finish. Ah, Crash Bandicoot VR is ready. But Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Eleven. My god. A new topic, a new combo. Nice. 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 And nice. That's nice. 
Ba 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 ba. Oh, nice. Um, research. What is the research? Research is important to look new options and make better games. That's all I need to know. Hint. Try to develop a little bit of that. Ah, okay. So I only uh, have. Oof. Ooh. Oh, that showing up. Ugh, look at that. <laughs> Too much. I like. Uh, ooh, I, I do like science. Bam, 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 bam. Newly released game, Crest Bandicoot VR came in. Two? How dare you? It's my first game. Pretty bad. But it's Crash Bandicoot VR! <laughs> uh, not much fun. Oh well. First game released, yay. Yeah, good for me. Monkey Fist! A newcomer in the game industry has just released a their first game, Crash Bandicoot VR. The game had a moderate response from viewers. We are curious what Monkey Fist will deliver in the future. 1K? My god, well done. Oh my god. Crash Bandicoot VR sold 1,050 units in its first week on the market. Of course I did. It's Crash Bandicoot, mate. Nice. Alright, let's make a new one. Uh, oh, game report. Oh, loss. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'm still getting more though. Units 4.78. Oh, 9. 5k. 5k 1, 2. Okay, let's, let's start a new game. What game should this be? Um, play with science. That's what it'll be called. I love science. Play with science. Now, mad science. Uh, ooh, this is a good one. Simulation, simulation. Yeah, I think that would be it. Platform. Uh, you know, PC. Uh, 2D. Or text space. Ooh, could be one of those like. Uh, text space where you have to combine two science things together to make one thing. Like, you have to type in what combinations you know and stuff. But if it's a 2D. Huh. Yeah, 2D. Come on. Lots of gameplay. Story? Nah, it's not a lot of story. No story. What does engine mean? I don't know. <sighs> dialogues. Oh, a lot of dialogues. Level design. Ooh, yeah, there could be a level design so you have to make. Not a lot of robots. Oh, 8K. World design. Would it be a world? Yeah, I guess so. Graphic. Um, a bit, a bit less. Um, lots of sounds. Um, no. Not having basic sound. We're just having shit sounds. <laughs> 
tool right ooh finished already good on you new best nice look at all that look at all that boy doing good let's see how it goes on then Ooh. A three. Uh, that's fine, mate. Five. Nice. Four. Ooh, three. Waste of money. How dare you? Nice. One K. Two K. That's nice. Um, shall we just leave it here? Yeah. Shall we play uh, um, this? Like, um, what day is it? I keep forgetting. Like we should play uh, this game every this day, or shall we just play it every other day? Or just play it every day? I don't know. According to rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console, Nintendo is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky King like yeah the, that's like a rip off but it's like really funny that's what I want to make but I can't I can't think of a rip off name should we make a uh, no we're going to leave it here aren't we yeah mm, nice Oh, gave me some work research points. Oh, combination. Of course it is. Oh, sorry. Okay, shut up. All right, guys. I'm gonna leave it here. If you want me to play this tomorrow, then please let me know. Oh. Tez. Nice. And as always, goodbye.